Next up is a very famous and very old sea trout fly named the Dovey Black and Orange. So originating from the River Dovey in uh, Mid Wales, a uh, fantastic sea trout river. This is, I, I'll be totally honest, this is a fly that I don't uh, use personally, but I certainly know uh, that it has brought plenty of anglers success, uh, hence why I'm bringing it to the channel. Uh, I also know um, a few anglers that uh, really enjoy fishing it on the, the River Towie uh, in South West Wales and uh, do read really well uh, on the W Black and Orange on the River Ta uh, Towie as well. But either way, it's definitely a, a, a sea trap fly worth tying up and uh, worth giving a go. Um, but here it is, a very very simple, uh, I've got a, a size 8 up eye in the vise here, uh, you can use up eye, down eye, whatever you prefer, it tends to be tied on a single hook but you could definitely tie it in a tube version, tandem version, whatever uh, takes your fancy really. Thread is black, I've got some, um, just some Vivas in 10 o here, so it's going to catch that in behind the eye. Always, if you can, just avoid going in contact directly with the eye. Just that little section there, but leave about 2-3 mil short of the eye, because that what that will do is enable you to uh, have a much more, uh, a, a basically a much neater head at the end. The tail of the original W Black and Orange was actually red swan, uh, or dyed red swan feather. Uh, as I'm sure you can imagine that's not uh, in uh, ample supply nowadays. So instead, I'm just going to use some dyed red uh, schlappen. Uh, basically, if you've got any red hackle feathers, uh, it will do the same. Uh, red ibis uh, substitute would work. Um, a lot of people also use golden pheasant topping instead, and that actually looks really nice. But just sticking with the original, I'm going to use some red hackle. Uh, Ha uh, red hackle fibers here. It's going to tie in a good pinch of that. Just take a couple of turns to, to secure it in and take one turn underneath just to kick it up slightly. Stop it from wrapping and kick it up. Now you don't want to cut these butts off tight at that point. You want to take them up the body just to even out the body. If you were to just cut them where you finish tying them in down there you're going to end up with a uh, with a big bump basically which you don't want. I'm going to tie them into there and the reason I stop there is because of uh, the nature of these up eye hooks there's a second eye in that comes back and you actually have a slightly thicker section up here naturally so what I'm working out now is just uh, uh, working with that and creating a taper. So body is, uh, there's going to be a oval tinsel rib, uh, you want small or medium silver over tinsel rib, just cut a length of that, and then the main body is, you can use black floss, you could probably use black seals for if you wanted to, uh, I've just got some uh, uni stretch in black, I'm just going to take a good length of that. I'm going to marry that up with the oval tinsel. Just marry the two up, have the both ends finishing roughly in the same place, like so. Let's take the thread all the way up. Again, we want to even out that body. So you don't want too many bumps, so it's going to tie that along the body now, all the way down, just to give us a nice, even, distributed body like so. Take it up to the head. So first things first, bring the black floss or here again I'm using uni stretch, just bring that up the body just in touching turns just to create a nice even nice even body. Just take your time, just make sure you're covering if there's any silver showing through from what you tied, uh, where you tied in the oval tinsel Make sure you're covering. The fish don't care. It's very just, you know, materialistic and how we see the fly. So you might as well do it a good job if you're taking the effort to make the fly in the first place. So tie that off, tie back over a couple of turns just to secure it and snip that off. Then we're going to bring up the silver tinsel, uh, sorry, the oval tinsel, uh, and that's going to be an evenly spaced turns I'm 
like so. Keep bringing it up. Like so, and then tie back over. And snip off the excess. The hackle is a orange. This is where basically the, the, the dovey black and uh, the, the orange part of the dovey black and orange comes in. Uh, you can tie this as a false hackle, which would just be stripping, uh, stripping some feather fibers and bunching them underneath. I'm actually going to do it uh, full hackle. I prefer that. It just stops the wing from collapsing too much. So I've just picked a feather out here. So all I'm going to do now is just brush, brush these back just to create a tying in point. Uh, I'm going to cut a V out to create a tying in point. So I'm happy with that. Bring it up. Take the thread up and over, a few locking turns, and then just bring that, sweep those hackle fibers back, sweep them back, start bringing that around. It's not going to need many turns, keep sweeping it back, around three turns. It's quite a, a strong color, so you don't want too much of it just like so on that third turn I'm just securing it off brush the hackle back over the body just tie over that stem just to really lock it in like so and then we're going to snip off the excess in as tight as you can So two parts left. One is the the wing, uh, and also this does have jungle cock. Jungle cock, as always, is an optional extra. Don't feel that you have to. I'm just uh, working with the original dressing here. So it would have um, normally it would have a black squirrel wing. Uh, as many of you know, if you follow my channel, I like working with uh, American possum, uh, which is this stuff. Uh, it's I like it because it's um, it's slightly finer than squirrel, uh, and then slightly stiffer than Arctic fox. Very easy to work with. Good substitute. A lot of people have been asking me where to find this stuff. If you can't find it, don't worry too much. Something like Arctic runner perhaps would be a, a, a nice substitute. Arctic runner is probably a bit softer, um, but a, a, a decent substitute. So take a decent pinch. Take a decent pinch. And then you want to marry it up to roughly where the tail ends. If you just marry that length of the wing to where the, the tail ends, you're in the right, right ball pack. Don't be too fussy about it. Pinch and loop. And then just bring some tight turns over. Make sure that it's sitting properly, just like so. And we're going to snip off the the base, don't want all of this, come in nice and tight with the scissors, just saves too much tidying up at the end, that's perfect. One thing left and that is again the jungle cock, again if you haven't got jungle cock don't get too tied up about it, um, it's very much an optional extra. So I'm just going to measure this up, measure a couple of CDC, uh, sorry, a couple of jungle cock feathers up, if you are going to use jungle cock, you, know, you don't want to be wasting feathers. So you want to make sure you're pulling off the the correct size for the for the hook. It's got a couple there, so it's going to st strip back the base on those feathers. All this waste at the base, and just snip off like so. one in each side and slightly sloping up into the wing so take your time make sure that it's sitting well I prefer to tie them in individually I prefer the accurate placement you get when you do that 
if you're cleverer than me you can definitely tie them in two at a time so that's one end second one there a couple of turns what you can do then is adjust that looks pretty good in fairness happy with that make sure it's just sat there that's nice fold over the stems fold the stems back over the fly this is just to really secure that jungle cock bring him back over and then just tidy up that head just create a, a neat neat head and that's the fly done so that's the the dovey black and orange it's probably dovey black red and orange in fairness with that tail but um, you can see why it would be a successful sea trap pattern it's got a bit of everything you know black obviously uh, a, a, a prominent color if you can call it that uh, for, for night fishing because of the silhouette aspect um, and then a couple of different strike points it's going to snip off the the jungle cock stems just tidying up a couple of loose fibers but that is the fly done so again that's the the dovey black and orange pretty simple fly uh, again many find this to be uh, a very very effective fly so definitely one uh, to tie up and uh, give it a swim Give it a swim and I hope uh, I hope if you do I hope it brings you luck tight lines